My name's Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who are impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Okay, so I'm gonna put on the tracker on Boone here. This little tracking collar's got three different types of uh, technology. I've got GPS technology, I've got telemetry technology, and I've got whatever they use in a ferret finder. I don't even know what it is. We can see lots of sign of a muskrat being here at some point. It doesn't make a lot of sense that he'd still be here. It's pretty bad habitat. But he doesn't have a whole lot of other options without just cross crossing dry open ground. So we're gonna see if Boone can sniff him out if he's still here. Now with all this tractor digging up in the canal, I don't know. He would be down here. Looks like Boone decided he's not down here. And you can see they've been repairing the canal a little bit with the tractor. You would think that would disturb the muskrat, but I guess maybe not if he's down in a hole. So we're just going to follow Boone around. Oh, something's in there. Something was in there. I assume he caught it because nothing's coming back out. Oh, oh. Got a muskrat. That's a big old battle for anything else. Put a little string on its foot so it doesn't drag it farther up in there. Gotta be real careful not to scare him. Oh, he's pulling out. See that? There's the fur. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good job, Mr. Man. Let's get a rope on this guy's foot. I'm just getting a string on it so he doesn't take it up further. I want to let him have the choice to bring it out, but still kind of have control over the situation. Is the hope. There's always a risk that we won't. We'll still lose control, but that's the attempt anyway. There's 
You can still see the muskrat tail sitting right there. And pulled it in too deep. Just give him a second to finish killing it, calm down, and see if we can get it to back out for us. Shot of him shooting in there. Uh-huh. Boone! 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 Good job, little man. I'll go bring us a muskrat so I can feed you up, huh? 3,000 years later. What did you say? He might have been tracking a survivor. He just followed the path. Uh -huh. One could have taken to a stink. So I'm not saying there was another one. I really don't know. Uh -huh. But if one was going to escape, that's the path he would have likely taken. Huh. So um, it's possible he just followed the trail of one that escaped off into one of those pipes. Yeah. Okay, so Boone didn't uh, bring back that muskrat like I hoped. Uh, it was probably mostly, if not all, wholly my fault. I, um, I didn't check the caching box before we began, and there was something in there that he ate, some meat from last time. So what I often do is I feed him more than he can eat so he gets a full belly for retrieving the kill, and then I clean it out after the fact, and I forgot to do it this time. I don't know how much was in there, but it was enough that he spent a little bit of time eating it. So, stupid mistake on my part. We got the string on it, so I can just pull it back out. Do you want me to film from up here? You want me to come down and film right there? Yeah. Hey, good boy. Okay, so what we're doing right now, I'm just putting a harness on him. I don't want to risk he takes it up deeper in the hole instead of bringing it back. So to kind of keep control of things, I got a harness on him here. Because I don't want to risk him taking it way up in the hole and we don't get the muskrat back. And this also makes it a little easier to get him to bring it back. Brought it out. <laughs> Didn't just catch it, he brought it out. Oh yeah. 
that makes my day. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, Mr. Boone. Good job, Mr. Boone. Well, any day you catch a muskrat and the mink brings it back is a great day. Pretty happy with Mr. Boone. He, that was super easy. Just went in there, caught the muskrat, took a little encouragement, but then he brought it back. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you more next time.